world loving money, trusting in money. He had no faith, he had no love, no true love. When you love God, you keep his commandments of God. You follow him, you don't follow another. You can't follow another. You can't follow any other spirit of the Holy Spirit. How many times people say to me, I've already been saved, I already go to church. And there's no holiness in their life. You need holiness. Look, this is the most respect I can have for anybody out here because you don't know what your time is up. You can die tonight. I don't know. That's why I'm here. God sent me here. These are dying. Yeah, yeah, they're leading people to them. This is against the Bible. It says, he who makes himself a friend of the world makes himself the enemy of God. Right, the world. I don't read there's some reading material for you on your way to hell. Oh, like everybody else, what are the differences? No, I'm trying to read the Bible. The Bible says, do not be conformed to this world. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you get, how do you get a renewed mind when the Word of God goes into your heart? I can't say that's the Bible. Don't constrain by the commandments of God. The Word of God is going to endure. Do you believe the Bible? Do you believe the Bible's true? Do you believe the Bible's true or not? You can say, you can say this is true, but it's against the Bible. I can prove it. I'm just pointing out the music over there because he said I'm disrupting the music. But well, where am I disrupting it? They're performers who play the music, right? Oh, okay. Okay, well. Well, hold on, look. But the bottom line is this, if you knew God, if you understood the serious nature of life and death, if you understood the serious nature of life and death, if you would support reading, you'd support God going up, but you don't know. You know, the Bible says, deliver those who are drawn to death. I do know, because you don't care about lost souls. You have no care for lost souls. You care about your doing things more than you do the preaching. Yes, you do. You wouldn't be here talking to you right now if you, you, you cared about God. You'd be up here. I'm telling you.
chicken bones still in his mouth, man. He can't even put the chicken bones down when God passed the fury of his wrath upon him, Joe said. Total darkness. Total darkness, it says, is reserved for his treasure. Do you want total darkness for your treasure? The Bible says that the increase of his house shall depart. It says his goods will fall away in that day. Everything you're working on, when you live without Jesus, in one moment will be taken from you. One moment it'll be gone. It's going to fall away from you, the Bible says. Those who are left in your house, it says, you don't go ill with them, the Bible says. Oh, I don't want that to be your judgment. That's the portion of God for a wicked man. It says, this is the heritage appointed to him by God. God's got a heritage for you. I don't want this to be your end. That's what's coming. The workers of iniquity that have no knowledge. But the Bible says, the Bible says, let not the book of the Lord depart from your mouth. No, but be careful to do all that is written there, and then you will be successful in your way. I want you to be successful. I want you to get in line with what God's trying to do in your life. You know, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, that so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, it says. No one shall accomplish what I please. It shall prosper in the things for which I sent it, God said. He said, then you will go out with joy. You will be led out with peace. It says, the mountains and the hills will break forth into singing before you. And all the trees of the hills, all oh, they'll clap their hands on the trees. All the trees, all the creation will be on your side. Oh, to bless you. Oh, to, to, to lift up a testimony for you and Jesus. Don't you want a testimony? You know, in that, in that chapter, Job chapter 20, that I just put it, the Bible says, to the wicked man, it says that the very heaven, it says, will reveal his iniquity. When you die in your sin without Jesus, it says the heavens, there'll be a big television screen, which will all your iniquity to be taken of and then it'll appear in the heavens. Oh, uh, it's terrifying. All the pornography, the people don't repent. The cops are probably going to hell. The people doing sin will hey. repent of their sin. Talk to me for a second. I'm called to preach. i got to preach hell. To this is my time to preach. But you don't understand, but you know, you know, when you're alive with the word of God, it says that the very hill, you have a covenant with the beast in the field, the Bible says. You'll, you'll be at peace with your neighbor, peace with God. The Bible says a man who, 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 whose ways please the Lord, he lives at peace, even with his enemies. I live at peace with my enemies. I have peace with God, I have peace with you, I walk in his love, I walk in his truth. I right, tell you what, but that's what you need. You need to be led out with joy. You need to go out with peace. Oh, it says, instead of the thorn, will come up the cypress tree. Instead of the vine, will come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name it says. For an everlasting sign, it shall not be cut off. That's the name of Jesus. That's the everlasting sign. That's the everlasting God. His name is Jesus. He overcame death on the cross. He lives forever. How are you gonna live forever without Jesus? Who's got this this everlasting life pill that you're taking from the from the doctors? Who is the one who's who's uh who's come up with this thing? Oh, the, the, the cancer doctor's got chemo. The cancer doctor's got radiation therapy. She don't know the one who keeps someone alive in the midst of death. I know his name. I know. I hope tell you. I know the power of God as He delivered me from so great a death. I want you to be delivered. I want you to experience what I'm talking about. The pleasure of God. The purpose of God. The plan of God. You think it's God's plan for you to walk down this beach every day living in sin, continuing to ignore the Bible, continuing to harden your heart to the, to the sweet condition of God. God's been calling to you. Oh, you know, the Bible says reject. It says reject. It says reject. It says And all by faith. Oh, it says exercise yourself unto godliness. What it says bodily exercise profits a little. Oh, but you don't understand. You don't understand what truth is, sir. You're following on. I follow truth. I follow what's been established. I follow what's, what's always going to endure. It's the Bible. Tells me to preach. Tells me to walk. Tells me to reach out to you. Talk about God's goodness. Talk about God's severity and salvation to God. Where's your salvation from? Is it from your job, your career, your, your, your prestige? Do you think you're going to buy your way into heaven? Do you think you're going to say, God, I get all these good works now let me into heaven? No, God's going to say, where's the blood of Jesus in your life? God's going to say, where is the testimony of the word of God in your life? That's what you need. That's what you have to have. You had it. You gotta have faith. You gotta have repentance and faith. You gotta have clean hands and a pure heart. You, the word of God, is pure. Yeah, the Bible says this. It says, then why you say this? It says, let no one despise you. No, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in truth. It says. And Paul said, until I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation, and to doctrine. That's in First uh, First Timothy chapter four. You know, I'm here today because I want you to give attention to reading. That's the word of God. To exhortation. That's the rebuke of God. The correction of God. 
Yes or no? It's a doctrine. That's the truth. That's how you find truth. Every Jew shall be established by two or three witnesses. Jesus died. I know it means to work God. You're smoking cigars, smoking cigarettes, guzzling booze. That's not the truth. No, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1 says, Why does the mob have a strong tree? Jesus, this is over the sleeve, they're fine, not fine. No, you're not lost. This is a former entity. Oh, no, I'm not taking fire. I'm taking you lost. Yes, question. One question. Now, if you hear the church I just quoted here, no point. While he is eating, it says, the gospel testifies to the fear of the breath. While he is eating, people taste the death. It can happen to you. I don't want to have any I can trespass into your time tonight because of the good Samaritan law of life. Not disturbing anything. No, I'm disturbing the demons. I'm a destruction to the demons. Jesus said in Luke 13, verse 32, Go tell that box. I cast out demons and perform cures on the first and second day, and on the third day I shall be perfected, Jesus said. I'm walking away, Jesus. I perform cures in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, please, don't you dream it. You're dreaming, you idiot. He said, it cannot be that a prophet should die out of Jerusalem. It cannot be that a prophet should be rejected and fought by his feet, it said. So it cannot be a prophet is without honor in his own people, among his own countrymen, Jesus said. It's always true. I read the Bible. I get no honor among my own countrymen in my own place to preach it. But you know what? Jesus said, Jesus said, oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, oh, fought by his feet, oh, Jerusalem. Hey, where are you going? How I, how I want it, how I desire, how often I desire to gather my children together to me as, as a hen gathers her fruit under her wings. But you were not willing, you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate. Your house is left to you desolate. For you shall see me no more until you to the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Yeah, I tell you, when, when you see Jesus in your death in the time of judgment, you're going to say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Because there's only one who keeps alive. There's only one who lives forever. There's only one who establishes somebody in the kingdom of God. Then you're going to say, Oh, blessed. You, you say, Blessed to all these people on TV. You say, Blessed. All the millionaires out there. But you're gonna the time's gonna come when you're gonna say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Jesus said. When's that time gonna be? You're gonna bless God now? You're gonna humble yourself now? The Bible says that the name of Jesus Christ, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh, in the Bible told me in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, it said, You, O man of God, flee these things. Flee these wicked things in this world and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, and love, and patience, and gentleness. Oh, oh, that, that says, uh, it says, I urge you in the sight of God who gives life to all things and before Jesus Christ who who, can, who witnessed a good confession before Pontius Pilate that you keep this commandment without spot blameless until the Lord, Je the Lord Jesus Christ appearing, which he, will, which he will manifest in his own time. Yes, Jesus is coming back in his own time. When you die, that's it. That's his return for you. If you die before the end, then that's his return for you. Oh, and I tell you, are you ready to meet the king? Are your garments spotless? Have you been washed clean? By the word of God, through repentance and faith, are you indulging in alcohol? 
Are you indulging in sex outside of marriage? Are you indulging in masturbation? Yeah, I'll talk about it. Nobody else is rebuking the wicked. Nobody else. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 94, verse 16, it says, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who, it says, who will stand for me against the workers of iniquity? Oh, it says the judgments of God will return to righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Shall the throne of iniquity which devises evil by law have fellowship with him? And they gather against the might of the righteous, and they condemn innocent blood, it says. Oh, but my defense is of God. My defense is of God. Psalm chapter 62, verse 8. Oh, it says, it says, My soul lives silently for the Lord. For he alone, he alone is my salvation. Oh, he alone is my salvation. Because he is the rock of my refuge. Oh, in God is my salvation and my glory. Oh, it says, My refuge is of God. Trust in him, all you people. Pour out your heart before Him, for our God is a refuge for us. Men of holy grief are a paper. Men of high degree are a lie. If they are weighed on the scale, they are all together. Why does it take what the Bible says? God has spoken once. Twice I have heard this. The death of the Lord belongs to God, and to you also, O Lord, belongs mercy. For you have entered in each man according to his work. Do you know, you can talk about God's mercy. You can talk about God's love and His provision and His kindness to you today, but what about the fact that it says in that verse that God's going to render to each man according to His work? What are you working today? What are you working in, in with your life? What is your lifestyle about today? Do you have do you have an evil heart of unbelief? Are you living in sin? Do you think we're all just sinners? Is that your gospel? You went to church and some pastor told you that we're all sinners. Now you just believe it, and now you just go on. Just indulging in pornography, indulging in, in having sex outside of marriage, indulging in materialism? Is that really the message of the Bible? You think you're going to make it to heaven living this way? You are sorely mistaken. You have a witness against it. It's the Bible, it's the preacher, and it's your conscience. All these three bear witness against you. I know it's true. I know that we cannot live in sin and make it to heaven. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 17, it says, Do not let your heart and be sinners. No. How can we all be sinners when the Bible says, do not let your heart and be sinners? Who's it talking to? Who's it talking to? It's talking to you. It is talking to you. So, so, so the Bible is saying, look, well, don't let your heart and be sinners. Don't, don't, no, that's vain. vanity. Vanity, man. You need to repent. You're not getting into heaven by doing a, by doing a Father, Son, Holy Spirit sign on your chest and head. Oh, you're going to heaven when you repent. You trust Jesus. You're going to sin no more. You got to do. You got to walk in His glory and walk in His love. You got the treasure, the commandments of God in you. God says in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 27, it says, Cease listening to instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of God. Don't listen to instruction. That's people that go up to me and they don't want to hear the Bible or be preached to. You're ceasing to listen to instruction. The Bible says you're going to stray from the words of truth. You can't retain knowledge. You can't retain God's love. His, his, his spirit. The spirit will give life. The flesh profits nothing, Jesus said. You can say that it's all about your vacation out here, but that's flesh. That's not going to profit you in the end. It's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you time. It's going to cost you effort. Oh, I tell you, you need the effort of God. You need the word of God. You know, you know the Bible talks about it says, give thought and effort to God. You gotta give your heart to the Lord. Oh, then you're in terrible danger. Oh, no, lies out here tonight. We're not all just saying. No, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 31 says, If the righteous are recompensed in the earth, how much more the ungodly and the sinner? How much more? The righteous are recompensed in the earth. The righteous are given and repayment for the, what they sow into, for what they live by. Jesus Christ, His ways, His leading, His guidance. And the wicked, the ungodly and sinners, they're recompensed too. They're given a reward too. God's going to make you find a reward for your works. God's going to cause you to, the Bible says we're going to be a bridle in the mouth of the people that causes them to err. Don't you understand that God, God directs the path? The Bible says that the preparation of the heart of man, but the end of the tongue is of the Lord. Uh, All the ways of man are of the Lord. How then can a man out. understand his ways? Uh, okay. Are you understanding that when you live in sin that God is going to cause you to end up someplace? It's the lake of fire. You're going to end up in the lake of fire that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. 
All the beautiful women out here with tan legs are going to have, are going to have their, their skin melted off. They're going to have their beautiful skin and health. His mic's not. All you're going to have is beautiful swords and destruction. You're going to see these bones burning in a lake of fire without Jesus. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my it's more profitable for you to hit on the light than in one hand than to enter the hell of fire having two hands. You are living in sin. You need, to, you, need to, you need to get rid of those wicked things. You need to make it right. You need to read the Bible. Oh, it's not good that the soul should be without knowledge, the Bible says. It's not good that you should be without knowledge. It says the mouth of the wicked, it says, devours iniquity. You know, when you live without the Bible, your mouth is divine iniquity. You are just chopping at the fish and saying, you know this, you can sit out here and act like a family man. You can sit out here and act like a good businessman, but you have sin in your heart. You want to lust at these women. You want to fill your body full of the hidden treasures, the treasures of, 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 of gluttony, the treasures of alcoholism, the treasures of, of, of uh, evil sex and all these things. That's what people live by nowadays. Bible says in, in Psalm chapter 52, it says, Lo, this is the man who made not God his strength. For all the trusted in his own riches, he strained in himself in his own wickedness. That's what you call cigarettes. You smoke marijuana. You are strengthening yourself in your own wickedness. But what will the end be for you? What will the end be for you? You're going to be on fire. You're going to be that little cigarette on fire in the lake of fire. I don't want that to be your end. That's what's coming for you, sir. You can shake your head bald. You can try to be, gonna, gonna polish your head up and look all beautiful. But in the end, you're gonna, it's going to be on fire. You're going to be, you're going to be weeping and wailing in hell without Jesus. And I'm concerned for your soul. I know what it's like to be lost. I know what it's like to be carnally minded. But the Bible says the carnal mind is enmity with God. Oh, it says it's not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. No, it says so then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You've got a big problem if you can't please God. You're up, you are, you are, you're, you're banging your head against the brick wall that, that says, I can't please God wall. Banging your head against it. Because you're living really carnal, because you have the flesh. But the good news is, the Bible says, that what the law cannot do, and that it was weak to the flesh, God did by sending His Son in the likeness of sinful flesh. On account of sin, He condemned sin in the flesh. You know, when God condemns sin in the flesh, it's condemned, it's over. If God comes and He touches you, I can preach without the speaker, trust me. I'll come a little closer. God in the resurrects bullhorn.
But who's teaching your kids about? This Don't, worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm called to preach. No, you're, it's not your business. Yes, my it is my business. No, yes, my it is. I've been commissioned to preach the word and to warn every listen, man. Listen, 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 you don't think your kids know about it already? I don't care how much you preach. The Holy Spirit tells me what to say. I speak what the word of God says, and I speak about these things. Speak up, mama. You go somewhere else. You go somewhere else. Oh, there's demons in you. You have curses come out of you. I don't take counsel from you. Yeah, I don't have demons in you. F and F and F. Yeah, right. You don't think it's a demon? That doesn't come from God. That doesn't come from God. You have more, more cursings and more wickedness in your heart. I'm going to take counsel from you. I don't take counsel from people who curse. You need deliverance, sir. You need deliverance. You're threatening me. You have threatenings in your life. You need Jesus to help you, sir. Help your family. You don't think your kids already know about all the evil stuff on television? But anyway, your parents let your kids watch this evil stuff. You let them go on the internet and watch YouTube and watch Facebook. Join you. All the evil stuff, huh? Yeah, the Bible says, the Bible says, uh, the people are wise men, he be yet wiser. Review the wise man, he be yet wiser. I tell the Bible says it. The Bible says, he who, 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 he, he who heeds a review, he who heeds a, no, it doesn't tell me, look, look, the Bible says, it says, he who heeds a review and says, yes, honor. What's your approach? Is it out here? Is it out here? Is it out here with them? Is that your approach? Yeah. Oh, party with them? Yeah, I actually do. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually do. Well, look, the, Bible, I do. the Bible says, says those, are, those are wicked go join hand in hand, they will not go unpunished. I will join all of you guys. Hand in hand, they will all of you be punished. You will all of you be punished. I'm giving you a reason. I'm giving you a defense. The Bible says, always be ready to give a defense to those who ask 
you're a I'm saying your approach sucks. You're telling me that my approach is wrong. And that's evidence that I'm not really a Christian. Why are you doing this? You're putting all these people down. You're putting all these people down. You're putting all these people down. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. All you're doing is putting all these people down. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 25 says, You see who rebukes a man and says, Shall have a blessing. Have you realized that? None of these people are listening to you. Are you realizing that? He rebukes a man will find more favor afterward than he who flatters with his tongue. You flatter with your tongue. Yeah, I'll join you for a beer. I'll join you for a joint. I'll smoke a joint with you. I'll live in sin with you. That's a flattery. That's a flattery. You don't want to be it's not okay. 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 Okay.
This is all crazy, buddy. Go home, homie. Fuck you. Fuck I will go home, and you're going to go home, too. And the Bible says, the casting of lots caused contention to see. Nobody's listening to you. Oh, yeah, now let's get by the stars over here. Nobody's listening to you. No one's listening to you. You know they're not. You're, you're preaching a bunch of nonsense. They're not. You need to work on your approach. I don't want you to go to hell. I do not want you, you to work on your approach to them. I don't know how you can think you're a Christian living this lifestyle and you work, come up against you. Work on your you are actually in the you worst work. danger the Bible says than anyone else. All right. I you guess have so. no scripture to back me up. So. You have no so. scripture to back me up. I guess so. I guess so. Who are you to judge me? Don't you fear God? Who are you to judge me? Don't you fear God? I actually do fear God. Then why are you persecuting the preacher? But who who are you to judge me? I can tell you right here. Who are you to judge me? Who are you to judge any of us? I'm a spiritual man. Who are you to judge any of us? A spiritual man judges all things. But he himself is widely judged of no man. He does this for money. You're absolutely right. Oh, I don't know how to make any money. She's a liar. She's a liar. Liar, 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 pants on fire. He does this to get money. Liar, liar, pants on fire. He does this to get money. He does this to get money. And I'm sure you guys... If I was just an evil doer, I'm sure you guys would be on the show. Is that your church? And an evil doer gives food to lying lips, it says. And a liar listens eagerly to a spiteful tongue. That's a proverb. How many Bible question? verses have I given you to beg on my defense? I have still haven't heard one from you. One question. Sure, one question. He does this for money. In Liar. Instead of launching Liar. another arrogant tirade. An arrogant tirade now preaching the Bible. Hold on, hold on. Uh, no, I, just, no, I, just, I don't think I, 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 think I heard enough. I just asked you to look up Romans. Look up Romans 12:16. You think it's humility? You think it's, you think it's humility. Yeah, what is, what is humility to you? Just don't preach, so don't warn anybody. The Bible says in Colossians 1:28, no, no, Him we preach, Arrogant warning sex. every man, Arrogant teaching every man in all wisdom, sir, no, no, in all no, wisdom. No, I'm using wisdom, and I am warning every man, and you say that don't do it. Don't do it. Don't speak up about sin. No, 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 we're all just sinners. I know your doctrine. I know where you come from. Oh, you can't lose your salvation. You know what the fear of God is? Just all in reverence for God. You wanted a verse. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13 says, Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouths, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, Isaiah said. And their fear towards me is taught by the commandments of men, it says. He's an extra. The commandments of men. You are teaching the fear of God by the commandments of men. That is serious business. That's what you're doing. You're, you're doing drugs. You're smoking cigarettes. This man says, don't speak up about it. Don't correct nobody. I tell you, there's love. There's mercy with God. When you get a hold of the truth and God in Jesus, the Bible says in John chapter 8, verse 31, if you continue in my word, you'll be my disciples indeed. You'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free, Jesus said. I want freedom for you, but the problem is, if you're going to get to the beginning stages first, you're not going to get freedom if you don't continue in the word of God. That's why I speak to you. The oracles of God. I speak to you. The truth of God. You need, you need knowledge. It's not good for you to be without knowledge. The heart of him who has understanding seeks knowledge. Do you know that I speak to you as a mystery? All the Bible says that hidden mystery is found in the word of God. Jesus Christ, the hope of glory. I tell you, you know, you know, it's funny because other people, they don't even understand what the glory of God. They don't understand what it takes to be lifted up with God. That's why I gotta rebuke you. That's why I gotta tell you that your sin's gonna find you out. Your sin from this, your five year five. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter one, this is a lot sinful nation. Of people laden with iniquity, a brood of evil doers, children who are corrupted. Why should you be stricken again? You will provoke more and more. The whole head is sick, the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even to the head, there is no sound in it. The wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, nor bound up, nor sued with ointment. Oh, your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire, and strangers have devoured your land. Oh yes, it is desolate and over. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, when I'm reading, I'm calling. I have to continue on. As so I was quoting to you, it says, it says that strangers devour your land. It is desolate and overthrown by strangers. Oh, it says. It says, it says, and you are left, and the daughter of Zion is left as a booth in the vineyard, as a hut in the garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. As a besieged city, your sin will leave you as a desolate, besieged city. As this hut in the garden of cucumbers, as a booth in a vineyard, desolate, left alone, without inhabitant, it says. Oh, but it says, unless the Lord, unless Jesus Christ would have left us a remnant, we would have become like Sodom. We would have been made like Gomorrah. 
Oh, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, says the Lord? What is the purpose of your sacrifices, the multitude of your sacrifices to God? What is it? You go to church every week, you say you, you help your neighbor, but you are you are living in Sodom and Gomorrah. You are a ruler of Sodom and Gomorrah. You are an inhabitant of Sodom and Gomorrah. All I tell you people in the church nowadays is to excuse homosexuality. They excuse pornography. They excuse masturbation. They think that God looks favorably towards their doctrine. The children are slipping away. They're, they're a sinful nation of people that are laden with iniquity. Children who are corrupters. You parents wonder why your kids are so messed up because you're not living for Jesus yourself. You need to be the example. Oh yeah, I'm the example for the Christian out here. Tell you Jesus was the standard of God's standard. Holy day. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, it says, Follow peace with all people and holiness, without which no man will see the Lord. I would love to tell you you're going to see Jesus in this unholy way that Jesus does me. But it's not true. It's not messed up. No, you need help because you're the wrong example. You see these girls out here, you see the way you're dressed, and they get off. Oh, maybe I can show my body some. Maybe I can show my body some. Right? That looks kind of look pretty if you had a man's attention. People are looking after you. You don't understand. That's evil. You need God's forgiveness. God can forgive you. God can, God can, God can change you. God can cause you to cover your body up. That's what I want for you. That's what I want. That's what these parents should want for you. That you would not cause your neighbor to sin. Do not cause your neighbor to sin anymore. Most people have more power than covers the body of more than this. That's evil. That's an evil pursuit of sinners. Evil. There's a man named evil pursuing you. You live in sin. Don't live in sin. Don't live in sin. Jesus died for you. Don't live in sin. 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 Don't live well, you know, Bible says, Bible says that the law is, is not made for a righteous man. Knowing that the law is not made for a righteous man. Is this your father? No. No? Well, you know, who, who are your father? Is it correct? You tell you that. My father's dead, you asshole. Well, then you are your father. Why did he teach you about Jesus? Did he teach you about Jesus? Well, he, God is the father. God wants to be a father to the father, like the Bible says. Crossing the line. That's terrible. I'm not crossing any lines. I'm preaching to them about what you should learn from the Father. The Father I know is in heaven when Charlie put his hold on. Just because your father died doesn't change the commandment of God. Just because your dad died does not change the word of God, young man. The word of God goes on forever. It's not going to be changed. No. No, you're living in sin. That's evil. That is wrong for you. Don't go around saying that. No, you got your care in this any longer. You are calling to preach your name. That's fucked up. Look, you got all these curses come out of you. I tell someone the truth that you got to say. More curses. No, you're wrong, buddy. You are actually wrong about that. I said it was wrong to tell someone to put some clothes on. Because the Bible says so. You need Jesus. Sir Jesus? Born again? You need Jesus. There's no excuse for sin out here. 